Welcome to another Luthias Lair. Um, today, um, I'm going to show you how to spray paint a Falcon Series 2, or just any guitar, really. Um, I need a, a Falcon Series 2 model for trade shows and stuff, and now that we're starting to come out of this pandemic, and uh, I've been vaccinated, and the second shot was a killer, by the way. It took me out for like four or five days. But I'm fine now. And uh, yeah, I need a, a model uh, of the Falcon Series 2 for trade shows to, you know, to show. I have a, a Scarab, I have a Falcon Series 1. I do have a Scorpion, uh, but I need the Falcon Series 2. And that's what I'm gonna be uh, spray painting today is the, is the body. As you can see, I'm outside. It's a beautiful day today. It's uh, hot. It's about 90 Fahrenheit right now. It's still morning, about 11 a.m. And uh, we're going to go and we're going to get uh, this body spray painted. It's going to be purple because I like purple. Okay. So, catch you soon. Let's get to it. So I'm telling you, there's nothing better <laughs> than it being <clears throat> a Saturday in South Florida, a beautiful day, pure blue skies, uh, working on bass guitars and the Formula One qualifying zone. I'm in heaven. So, yeah, anyway, let me uh, just move the camera here a little bit. And I'll show you what we've got. So right here, I have my uh, Gas Base Falcon Series 2 Bellissimo model. Uh, this isn't a Franco signature one, it's not because Franco gets special stuff on his base, like his his logo and everything on his base. So this is not a signature model. Right now, it'll be my signature model, I guess, but um, no, we're going to put this. Uh, I tried some dye on this alder just to see how it would look. Uh, alder's not good for dyes. So what I did was I just put one coat of grain filler in this. Right, only one. Because uh, alder has very tight grain. So you only need, you don't even need grain filler really. But I put one coat of grain filler on and two coats of sand and sealer on. And sanded it back down to like 600 grit. Which is cool. And I just clean this with a degreaser, which is actually Windex, which is you call window lean in the UK, I know that. Because I used to live there. So you know, I've got it on my lollipop stick here so that I can put it in my jig when I get outside to spray. And I have my shimmer metallic candy grape purple spray paint in a can. Yes in a can. You can do a good, can do a good job of painting a guitar with a spray can. You really can. I did it with Franco's and it turned out fantastic. I, did, I, did, I do have some pearl mist here but I don't think I'll go over it with pearl mist because it'll make it too light. So I'll just keep that aside and uh, we're about ready to go. Make sure you've got some Q-tips or cotton buds and some Mineral spirits handy so that when you've finished spraying you can wipe the nozzle of the spray can down because you don't want that getting clogged because you'll get sputter and all that nasty crap. Okay, so I'm going to wait till after Q3's finished here in the Formula 1 and then we'll get to painting. Yes. So the plan has changed. Yes, I'm going to use the uh, Pearl Mist over the top of this first coat that I put on there to even it out. It's strange paint, this uh, purple stuff that I got. You know, I get recommended. I thought I'd try it out. You know, if, all, if it doesn't work, then I just, uh, you know, I just sand it back off and we'll be good. So, let's try this. Yeah. 
Sporting. Take that nozzle very much. That flashes, it looks a bit mottled right now, but we'll cover it over. It should be good. Actually, it might end up being okay, actually. Put another coat of this on, and then we'll go for the purple finish, and we get a spackle effect, which might be cool. Okay, let's try another coat of the pearl mist. effect on that, I like it. It's pretty good. I'm gonna have to sign this on. Four coats of paint. It looks a little mottled, but you know the actual machine of it is very nice. You know if this dries quite well, I'll consider you know sanding it where the texturing is. And I might not though actually, because I mean, the paint's meant to be the paint's meant to be textured. You know, there's a couple of light spots to see. Just that. Like so. It's very hot in here, so the paint cures really quick. And you know, with 
flicked it like this. Uh, the catalyzed um, polyurethane I'm going to use on this is going to cover that. And it'll be a very smooth surface, but it'll look rough. You know, which is pretty cool. It's like an Android, not the phone, but like a freaking robot. I hate these nozzles, man. I think that's the last time I'll get this thing. You know, and if it doesn't work out, I'll just go over it again and sand it down and go over it again. It does look good though. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to let that flash for about 10 minutes. I'll have a quick look at it again. It's got that nice texture about it. I really like this one. I just wish the nozzle was a bit better on this, this can. I'm going to let that flash. See how even it is? And then we'll come back. Awesome. Yeah, looking good. So, uh, almost coming out of the socket. You know, hope that's in there. Yeah, it is in there. That's good. They're all nice and sparkly. Very texturally granular and stuff. I'll probably buff it down with some. Uh, very fine sandpaper and then scuff it slightly. I'm going to wait for this to dry before I put clear coat on so I'm going to rely on mechanical bonding of the clear coat from scuffing the paint but I think we'll be good. I think we'll be cool. Awesome. See you soon. <laughs> yes, back in the workshop. Nice break angle on that lollipop, eh? Doesn't that look nice? It's a bit streaky, though. Which I didn't expect. But that's okay. It's going to get flat sanded. And, uh, I don't think I'll buy this paint again. It was pretty crap. <laughs> yeah, I'll flat sand it, I'll go over it with uh, a, a coat of uh, some more decent, you know, metallic purple paint and we'll be good to go for clear coat uh, it, it's the nozzle on the can is awful um, I'll show you, hold on, I'll show you a, a good nozzle <coughs> that I like to use these are Rust-Oleum I'm not a paid sponsor at all for Rust-Oleum but I love these, they have a fan they have a fan nozzle on it and it's, it goes it's like a spray gun actually. It's it's kinda of like a spray gun and then you go over that like that and, and it's all cool. But this this is actually dried to the touch. This has been what forty minutes, fifty minutes. Uh, you can feel the texture in it. And when I flat sand that and then put a nice even coat of probably pearl purple uh, rust oleum paint or if I can get a duplicolor with a good nozzle on it then I should be okay to go. But it's, it looks nice. I'm going to pull that out of there. It does look good. I mean, there's a lot of crapola to be flat sanded on this paint. But, you know, uh, needs as must. It's a hot day today and it's humid as well, so you have to be very quick when you work. With uh, in this condition. Sorry, I'm having real difficulty hanging this back up. <laughs> but um, yeah, so God, I look like a complete spaz doing this. Right? Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to say that. Sorry, 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 didn't mean to say it. Right, but it looks okay. 
Um, highly experimental. The good thing with paint though is, you know, if you don't like it, uh, you can sand it off and start again. And it doesn't take that long either. So, I kind of like it. I'll flat sand that and see how it looks. It'll still have the glitter effect in it and the metallic effect in it. And if it looks flat and even enough, then I'll go for the, the clear coat. So, cool. Anyway. Um, oak. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so that's all for this week and I'll see you next time as usual be safe, be good and catch you later take care guys bye